Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Catfish and Carp. Today I'm here in Cape Coral, Florida, and we're gonna go fishing for giant Goliath grouper. And I am so excited. This is a bucket list item that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I'm here with John Black with Crazy Lure Fishing, and uh, he's gonna hook me up here. So we're gonna walk you through what we're doing and just bring you along for the ride. Well guys, you know me, I like to fish in crappy weather, and uh, today we've got a good amount of wind. It's in the, what, 20 mile per hour? Yeah, 20 to 25 knots. Well, 20 to 25 knots, wow. So uh, we got white caps and, and all that good stuff. It's pretty nice weather on the outside, it's about 70 uh, degrees, but the water temperature's in the low 60s, which makes things difficult. But we're gonna give it a go. Around Fort Myer and Cape Coral, there's a whole bunch of barrier islands and these big kind of bay areas in between the mainland and the barrier islands. We also have a lot of these uh, rivers dumping into these bays and uh, we're gonna be fishing these bays and the rivers and the more sheltered areas today. So, uh, I'm excited. All right guys, we're gonna go get some bait here. We're gonna climb the food chain, go get some little bait to catch bigger bait to catch huge fish. And this is a floating bait shop. Well, apparently this used to be uh, Hulk Hogan's house, so you know it's gonna be pretty awesome. We uh, we tried to find John Cena's house, but we couldn't see it. Oh. There's our bait oh. for today, oh yeah. Look at these, look at Woo! <laughs> That's gonna get us some fish to catch the big fish. For those that are about to die, we salute you. Uh, all right guys, we got our bait. We're gonna go catch some more bait, and we're gonna have a ball. Fishing for ladyfish? Yes. All right, we're gonna catch some ladyfish. You can tell how socially awkward I am just by the fact I think that's funny, you know? <laughs> I've been married for 17 years. Someone's taken vows to laugh at my jokes. That's a lizard fish? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool looking. Look at that thing. Man, what did he... I think he was trying to date your lure. <laughs> No means no, fish. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Lizard fish. All right, so you got this little jerk bait, and that's that's what we're trying to hit yeah, the ladyfish with. We're trying to find some ladyfish. We're trying to cover some water. Big one. All right, well, let, let me put down the camera and help you cover that's water. Right. All right. Does this thing sink at all, or does it just chuck it out there and start retrieving it? Yeah, it'll put on your, on your, on the pull back, it's going to go down and put it needs on. And look at guys, I know a lot of you thought I didn't know how to use a lure. <laughs> I still don't, but I'm doing it anyways. You know the reason why I do bait fishing is because I'm always fishing with those little boys. Yeah, oh, and you can put it in a rod holder. Yeah. Is that, and then you can go and change diapers and <laughs> stop fighting. You're multitasking. Get, get, get you off your brother's face. I need my hands if I'm bass fishing. I just, you know, I can't do it. He's standing up in a whole pontoon lifted up. <laughs> and the captain. <laughs> All right, so the captain's telling me that he marked a buttload of fish, which makes me super happy. One, because there's fish, and two, because I'm no longer the only person on the planet that says buttload of fish. So I found my, my, my soul animal here. You know? <laughs> so we're gonna go, we're gonna try to catch some of these suckers. All right, for these lady fish, I'm just using like a $30 rod and reel combo, medium action, six and a half foot. Got this little, uh, what is that, a jerk bait? And Beth in the back, she's she's using a nice little Daiwa rod there with a, looks like a dropper lead and uh, what about a number four our hook and some some shrimp. So we got a little live bait on the bottom, jerk bait right, uh, higher up in the column and just seeing what happens. Oh, 
There we go. I ain't boxing around with this one. Yay! Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ladyfish. All right, here. Look at that, that is a big, long ladyfish. All right. <laughs> All right, we just caught a couple live ladyfish. We got them in the live well. Nice, big, fat, light ladyfish. We're gonna go see about some goliath grouper. So these goliath grouper, do they have kind of like layers that they, they hang out at? On, on this coast, they have very specific places that they, they stay, so. We gotta, we gotta work hard. You gotta put it right in there, right on top of their nose. Now, is it kind of like you know that there's this one grouper that lives on, under this one <laughs> piling, and he's there every time, and and everyone knows about him type thing? Or, yeah. Or uh, even... So, so a couple years ago, we worked with the FWC to tag these grouper, right? We caught like 50 grouper that year, and we tagged every one up. We only ever caught two of the tagged ones. So it's like. They move in and out, and they move back offshore, another group comes in. So it'd be very rare to one the same guy. Okay, I got gotcha. you. This wind and chop is gonna make things dicey. We gotta get right up next to those pilings to fish, but those waves will beat the boat up if we smack up against those pilings. So uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, we got a little bit of a sheltered spot. The waves and wind are coming from this direction, so hopefully this will uh, give us enough shelter to fish. Now, if you guys have seen the, the bush grippers system, right? This is the Beth gripper system. Just hold on tight there. All right, well, we got a pen nine on. Uh, yes, and we got a 680-pound steel cable, nine ounces of weight. Uh, 20 all hook and about 80 foot or so of steel. Steel, oh, geez. Right? That's that all ain't you no, need. That's no joke. That's right. You ain't gonna get popped off on a log on that. <laughs> so we drop it down and you hang on. Uh. Uh. There we go. So we're setting the hook, man. How you're, you're gonna? Um, you don't. You can't set against the fish. Okay. He's gonna pull it down. Okay. All right. So John, John and I have got a little bit of a team effort thing going on here. He's he knows the spots down, so he's hand dropping it right into the spot. He needs to get it as close into the side of the structure as you can. Just gotta bounce it on their nose. Whoa. Go, go. Is he still on there? Oh, that, that live bait. That, that felt like someone's head just got torn off. Oh, look at it. Yeah, look at the tooth marks on it. Took all the scales off. We're going to try anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. He hasn't fulfilled his mission quite yet. We uh, dangled that dead one down a little bit, but we're swapping out with a lively bait, seeing if we can uh, get this serial killer to strike a second time. Go, 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 go! Oh, you got a reel, you got a reel! Apparently these groupers, once they're stuck, they get twice shy. So we're going to try another spot and uh, see if I can keep it out of his engine this time. So. <laughs> hey, there's some dolphins right there. What's up, dolphin? Man, he is just honed in on that wall. Cool. All right.
right, we're gonna give this bridge a try, but uh, I'm not sure the wind's any better here. <laughs> but that's all right. The wind's hard, but we're harder. I'm gonna activate the hydraulic uh, bath system here. Should be easier on this one, actually. All those idiots with their Minn Kota talons. Yeah, they should get a bath instead, man. That's where it's at. Hey, we're oh, making yeah. this one flappy. He's all the right. fuzz stick of bait. I almost had that sucker. I can't believe it went that fast. If I cheat. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. What the heck? Did you hit the thing? Ah! Oh, yeah. Go, go. No, you can't set the hook real down. Real down. Real, real. There you go. No. What happened? What happened? Did you hit the drag? No, keep going, keep going, keep going. And it's right there. I can see it. Oh, my. I just saw that on your hand. See that? Yeah. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Yep. Keep going, keep going. Real down, you got to real down. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Big leg, big leg. Okay, go down, go down. Down, 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 down. Yep. Reel up. They go in the pile and you got to get them out. All right, he's so far in there now. Okay, just take a break, take a break. Yeah. I mean, you're fine. Nope, he's, nope. he's off. Yeah, popped. All right, so I gotta get, get on him quicker and more aggressively. All right, man. That's yeah, it, oh yeah, that's incredible. Holy mackerel. I wasn't expecting one that big here. Well, guys, we gave this a go when the elements were not at all right. ideal. Yeah. Water temperature is low, it's in the 60s, which is not good, and the wind has been beating us up. But you know what, this just goes to show you, you gotta go out because you can still have a ball. And man, that was awesome. We got quite a few hits. Yeah, we, huh? we hooked up pretty good size. Check this out right here. Man, look at that. Yeah, Finn is hook up. That was a good three, probably three, 350 right there. So oh, just, man. We had him hooked up. Uh, just unfortunately, he came off there. Yeah, caught some awesome ladyfish. Yeah. had a ball though. And Florida bad weather is still better than Virginia good weather this time of year. So. <laughs> it's a warm front down here. <laughs> we had an absolute ball. This is definitely something I got to come back down here and try. Check out Crazy Lure Fishing Guide Service uh, here with John. I'll put, right. I'll put a link in the description, contact information. If you're down here in the Fort Myers, Cape Coral area, give it a go. Also, check out his YouTube channel, and I'll put a link in the description of his website as well. And don't forget to click subscribe, guys. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see all of our great adventures in our Florida trip, don't forget to check out my other channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, where we post all of our vlogs and great adventures. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning.